Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Collector of Stuff. Hope everybody's doing great out there today. I'm celebrating my Tennessee Vols one today, so very happy about that. I um, hope you guys are enjoying these videos. If you are, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and that you, you like them. You uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And uh, I enjoy all the comments that you guys are leaving. Um, it's really cool. You know, I, when I first started this channel uh, a few weeks ago, I um, just kind of thought that I was probably a little bit strange in, uh, in the variety of all the things that I like to collect with the, the sports memorabilia, the comic books, the Hot Wheels, you know, DVDs and all that stuff. And um, it's been fun for me to see that there are some new YouTube friends uh, that I've met out there. Uh, who collect a wide variety of things too and um, I just think that's really awesome that you guys are uh, are into different things kind of to me it keeps the channel from getting dry and boring so uh, again you know I um, I know some of you only maybe follow my channel for one particular kind of video but I hope that you'll sort of expand your horizons a little bit as you uh, as you see the different things that we talk about on here and today I want to talk about comic books uh, more specifically, I want to talk about my collection of autographed comics that I have, which isn't a huge collection. It's just about nine or ten books that I have, but it's a pretty good one. It's got some nice names uh, in the collection, and I'm quite happy about that. So uh, I wanted to share those with you guys today. The first one that I have is the Spectacular Spider-Man number 200, um, which you can see there. That is autographed by Sal Buscema. Um, I was trying to see if it's numbered. I don't believe there is, uh, there's not a number on that one, but the others do uh, have that. Uh, I do have um, certificates of authenticity uh, with these books as well. Next up we have Detective Comics number 664. And uh, of course that is in the Nightfall series uh, where Bane breaks the back of Batman. That is autographed by Chuck Dixon, Graham Nolan, and Scott Hanna. If you can see those there. It is numbered number 4168 out of 9,000 on that one. Uh, next we have Superman number 81. Ooh, turn that where you can see it. There you go. That is autographed by Dan Jurgens and Brett Breeding. Uh, it is number number uh, 9888 out of 10,000. I didn't show you before, but there's the uh, certificate of authenticity I've got in the back on that one too. I won't show you that on all of them. You just have to take my word for it that they're there. Uh, Superman number 78, again, autographed by Brett Breeding. And numbered 4550 out of 5,000. So there we go. Uh, Batman number 491, autographed by Doug Minch. Not, never a big fan of um, that particular rendition of, of Batman, but uh, nice to have in the collection anyway. Um, next we have Wolverine number 75. This one is a little bit hard to read. This is Adam Kubert, or Kubert. Well, never was quite clear on how you pronounce his name. His autograph is there, there we go, on the lenticular part. You can read that as well. Also, the numbering is, uh, is on there, number 1039 out of... 7,500. I don't know if that's coming through. Yeah, it's hard to get that with the reflection on there. But it is signed there as well. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Is it Kubert or Kubert? I uh, was never quite clear on how you pronounced his name. Uh, next up, we have uh, not a well-known book, but it's always nice to have an autographed number one. And this is Image Comics Profit number one, and it is signed by Dan Panosian. 
you can see that there right on his head. There we go. I think you can maybe make that out a little bit. Uh, profit number one. Yeah, never picked up any other issues of this book, but just uh, just number one. This is autograph or uh, numbered uh, forty-eight out of ten thousand. If you can see that right there in the very middle. There we go. Get the glare out of it. Forty-eight out of ten thousand on that one. Uh, then I have a couple of trade paperbacks that I picked up in a series. Uh, this is, of course, the Death of Superman uh, trade. This is uh, autographed by Jackson Geis. There you can see across number 4550 out of 5000. Uh, you can see that right there where my finger was. Uh, next we have the uh, Return of Superman. And uh, this one is autographed by Dan Jurgens and Brett Breeding and John, and I could never pronounce his name, Bogdanov, Bogdanov, Bogdanov. His is the sloppy one there. There's Brett Breeding across Superman's chest. And the numbering is right there under Superman's arm. Is that 419? Yeah, number 419 out of 5,000 there. And that was Dan Jargons as well on that one. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to share that with you. And uh, one last autographed comic uh piece that I have during that whole death of Superman uh, era they, they produced uh, just as a fun little thing this news time magazine which is sort of a takeoff on Newsweek um, all about the life and death of the man of steel world without a Superman even on the back uh, they've got nice um, fake uh, advertisements the number one uh, once again, number one in the skies over Metropolis, uh, X Air. Yeah, just thought you know all those little touches were neat. And the whole magazine is uh, filled with um, yeah stories, as if it was a real Newsweek kind of magazine, and the world's reaction to the death of Superman, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, even got some nice ads, soda cola, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, anyway, this is autographed by the cover artist Dennis Rodier, or Rod Rodier, R O D I E R, uh, who created the cover for this. You can see that there, and it's uh, autographed uh, number 4550 out of 5000 as well. So. Yeah. All right. So uh, that kind of wraps that up. I just wanted to share um, my small, but I think kind of nice uh, autographed comic book collection. Uh, love to see you guys, uh, your collections of autographed stuff, be it books or comics or vinyl or CDs, DVDs, whatever you got. I know Captain Strange Life did a recent video uh, with uh, an autograph session with John Carpenter. Uh, and also one with uh, Neil Adams. I thought those were pretty cool too. So uh, check those out on his channel as well. And let me hear from you if you've got some autograph stuff on your channel. Make sure you let me know. Uh, anyway, again, until next time, thanks for watching. Be sure you like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and until next time, see you later.